Hey guys, this is Paul with RC Foam Fighters. Um, this is just going to be a quick video on my FF Demon project. Um, basically, this is the one that started out as the concept jet. I ended up deciding to call it the FF Demon. Um, this plane here, this was kind of the third version of it. Um, what I did on the third version is I ended up moving the motor forward, you know, to try and help get the CG right because I was always having issues with getting the CG with the uh, weight or the motor way in the back and then having to push the motor way forward. Um, with having it that way, I did do a test fly of this one. It still wasn't performing the way I wanted, you know, because with the weight at the far ends, kind of creates like a pendulum effect, you know, and it doesn't perform as good as if you have all the weight towards the center of mass. Whoa, what happened, man? I don't know. Huh. That was weird. So, anyway, I decided I was going to update the design after flying this initial concept one and what I did is I went back to concept two and as you see I cut out this big forward leading edge it had it you know it used to be like this one but we did a filled cut and I just kind of guessed on where the CG should be and actually the CG came out pretty close so let's take a quick look at that plane flying Hey guys, it's Paul. Um, I didn't like the way the plane was flying, so decided to make some radical changes. Just see if we can get it in the air. I chopped off the whole front section here. Made it a little more like a true delta with an extended nose. So we're not even sure we got the balance right for the CG, but we're going to throw it in the air and see what happens. And we did put a smaller battery. Yeah, smaller battery. So we lost probably about five or six ounces. Dang, dude, that went like right up. Didn't nose down much, or were you holding a lot of up trim? No, just what it was trimmed in it. I feel like it's nosing down or not? No. And uh, we did switch to a three cell from a four yeah. cell. Like I said, we lost about five or six ounces. Oh. How's it fly? Feels a little weird. Feels like the front end is wandering a little bit, but that might be just the wind today. There is. What about six, seven mile an hour winds. Well, I guess we guess, you know, fairly good for the CG. We actually had to move the CG back quite a bit. Try a glide test, see if it okay, nose down a lot. And the circle around, go up. Got yep. It. There's the glide. Nosing down a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna bring it in. Let's see the wind. Ooh. Ooh. A little rough landing. Dang. Okay, not bad flight for rough, you know, real modification, five seconds modification. Okay, guys, after that, you know, a quick test flight of this uh, revised field cut of the front uh, leading edge of the wing. I said I liked that one a lot, so basically what I did is I moved the parts off of that plane, and I ended up building a whole new version 4 of the plane. It does look quite a bit different, you know, without that large front leading edge. Um, I think if I wanted to keep that style wing, I'll make another plane. And what I'll do is I'll probably make it a mid-mounted uh, motor and stuff like that to try and get all the weight towards the center. Then I think it'll fly, you know, more the way I want. But as for now, the Demon, you know, it's pretty much going to look like this. So I'll show you the version 4 quick concept that I made. All right, guys, here's basically version 4 of the FF Demon. Um, this is pretty much, I think, the way it's going to be finalized. I did some test flights with this out at the field. We'll get into that a little bit later. Um, but basically what I did is I lightened this plane up quite a bit. I ended up going away from the heavy race wing motor. Um, I decided I'm just going to run it on a 3S 2200 milliamp battery. Um, and what I did is I picked a lighter motor. This is the Brother Hobby Avenger motor. It's a 27 or 2507 2700 kV motor. I'm running that on 3S with a 6x6 six six APC prop. Um, that seemed to work out pretty good. It's nice and light and I'm running that on a 60 amp ESC. Um, it's underneath there. I got a little vent hole. And another vent hole there that goes into the back. Um, the other changes I did um, is I put some little 
wingtip uh, stabilizers on there, vertical stabilizers. That'll help also keep the air for the KF airfoil kind of rolling in the same direction and not rolling off the side of the wing. Um, but pretty much that's it. So uh, let's get in the video and I'll show you how this one flew at Herman Airport this last weekend. Okay, it looks like it uh, took off pretty good. Um, I'm running a Brother Hobby Avenger motor. This is what the, what size was that, Frank? It was the, the 2708, is that what it was? No, it's a 2507, I believe. 2507. And it's 2750 kV. 2750 kV. Yeah, I got a 6x6 prop. Uh, the motor's nice and light. Um, I'm running it on a 3S LiPo pack. We do have the GPS in it, so after it lands, we'll see what the speeds are. Right now, I'm only, that's only about a half throttle. Just trying to so get you're running on 3s right yeah dialed in trying to come towards us frank i'll do a high speed run all right not too bad for three pretty S. good for a little 3s setup that might be what 80 miles an hour plus looks out at least that fast i would think guess we'll find out when we look yeah. at the gps you can do another high speed run when it come back towards us Yeah, I decided to go with the lighter setup on this. That other 5S big race wing motor ended up making it way too heavy. It was up around 44 ounces. Oh. With this setup, you blurred out? Yep, blurred out. <laughs> okay, Hold on, get sorry. me? Yeah, I got you. Uh, what I was saying is the old setup was about 44 ounces. This setup was roughly about 22, 23 ounces total. This is a lot less, man. Yeah, it's about half. half the weight. That and I did use the lighter foam on this instead of the Elmer's foam. Okay, I mean, I'll come by. Do another speed run. Okay. Yeah, I like this. It feels like it flies better too, I think, than the old setup with the uh, larger fronter front leading edge of the wing. Yeah, that might, that might that be 90 miles pretty good, hour, dude. It's moving pretty good, man. Especially for a 3S setup. And that is just a, what, 45C battery? Maybe with a better battery. You didn't kind of low yeah. there, man. <laughs> Trying to keep it low for you for the camera. Like you were about ready to mow the grass with the wing on that one. Yeah. Damn, you I think I'll, pretty good. Yeah, I lost you on that one for okay. a second. Oh, coming around. You still got me? Yeah, it's kind of boring. Yeah. That looked nice. Yeah. Spinning like a top. Okay, I'm gonna bring it around and bring it in, Frank. Okay. So I can go out to the far side and bring it in towards us. Nice. Okay, guys, that's the FF Demon. All right, let's see what kind of speed did we get there, Paulie. Can you see that, Frank? It looks like 93.8 miles an hour. That's nice. not too bad for a 3S plane. That's pretty darn fast for a 3S, man. Especially if you see how small this motor is. All right, guys, that'll finish up this video for this FF Demon concept. I guess I'm going to be moving on to the final stages. I'm going to do a final build video and get the plans finalized, and then uh, eventually it'll be released on the website. So thanks for watching RC Film Fighters, and I'll see you again next time.